But we're really going to look behind the news on a couple of issues today. One of the things that's happening, particularly amongst the Democrats, is the idea of an amendment to the Constitution, probably through a con constitutional convention, to change the Electoral College of the United States, which has undergone two major changes since it was first initiated. Still is a good system, because most people don't understand that, and they you know, advocate it being changed. But it is part of the checks and balances, originally within the executive branch, and particularly between the states and the federal government. Uh, but it's been changed and altered. Now the final stage of doing away with it completely uh, is this popular vote issue for the presidency of the United States. Uh, just to give you an idea of what is behind this and has been for a long time. This is from my personal library. Uh, and this is a, a, a book that I got, a booklet actually, uh, when I used to infiltrate Marxist organizations in the city of Seattle back in the early 1960s. It is the political resolution adopted by the 16th National Convention of the Communist Party of the United States, February 9-12, 1957. This is what they have to say in point E of their resolutions of what they wanted the Communist Party members to work for. Abolition of the Electoral College, in other words, do away with it completely, and the election of the president by direct popular vote. What would happen if this uh, occurred would be there would be no checks and balances between the states and the federal government, or at least would wipe out uh, one of those things in the Constitution that does that. Uh, it would make the president uh, the idea that he is mandated by the people to do certain things, regardless of the Constitution. The one thing for sure that it would do, regardless of arguments about anything else, and that is that the voters of California, Florida, New York, Pennsylvania, and a couple of other states would elect the president of the United States. And Idaho and Montana, North and South Dakota, Wyoming, uh, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, New Mexico, a uh, number of other states, well, they could take a walk. Alaska, too. Because they wouldn't elect the President of the United States. You would be taxed for all those things that the President would want to do, but the benefits of that tax would go to those states that elect or re-elect the President. Popular election of a president, a very dangerous thing.